taking the second trip to England and another Wimbledon chance. I think there's more because like last time I wasn't expected to do anything. You know, nobody had seen me before and um, nobody knew me or anything. And this year, um, I think I might be seated and so I'm, I should, I'm supposed to win like a couple of rounds so there would be more pressure. Is she stronger now from a coach's standpoint? Oh yeah, definitely. Her whole game is stronger, her serve is bigger, her, her drives are harder and at the same time she can uh, cope with, with power better than she did last year. Last year it would hit her heart and she was fighting the ball, no, not any longer. I noticed that Holmes also has a gap between his teeth, and Norton says he's going to fall into the gap. <laughs> That's Bali compared to Tracy Austin each held serve for the first seven games of their quarterfinal match. Chris broke Tracy's serve in the eighth game, but her 15-year-old rival broke right back in the ninth. The more poised Miss Everett finally took the set 7-5 with another break in the twelfth game. The first set featured long baseline rallies with each girl testing the other's backhand. The pigtailed Miss Austin had nothing left in the second set, winning five points in the first five games. She held serve only in the sixth game. Chris wrapped it up 7-5, 6-1 to advance to the semifinals against either Wendy Turnbull or Kathy May. Chris has won the U.S. Open the last three years, but is seated only second this year behind Wimbledon champion Martina Navratilova. They appear to be on a collision course to battle it out 